Good evening, good evening, good evening, one and all, and welcome to the stream, where once again I'm joined by my host who does not want to be here, and off she goes. Um, hi, hope you're all doing well. I thought I'd, I thought I'd festive, because, you know, Christmas is nearly here, so Christmas jumper, and also for added festivity, there we go, who, how can you not feel festive now, right? Like... That's really brought the Christmas cheer, hasn't it? <laughs> Two glasses for the price of one pair of glasses as well. Naturally glorious. Um, uh, alternatively, I'm like an Elton John tribute band. So we can do that instead. <laughs> Step in a Christmas. There we go. Anyway, hi, how are you all doing? Um, yes, I am in fact back in the old room, Nix. Uh, this is where I was... Uh, prior to moving to my apartment, sorry, just sitting on the microphone because this is annoying me. Um, because I'm home for Christmas, so I'm here. You get this background, you also get grey, so that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Tell me all about it. I know. Oh well, I hope that didn't lose the entire audience. Obviously not, because you guys are here, so that's lovely of you. Here we go. One, two, three. Four and five. She is grateful, I'm sure. Oh. Does the plotted plant have a f have a name? No, we've never suggested giving the potted plant a name. Um, I don't know. What do you think he looks like, or she? Yes, grey is the best Khajiit. Khajiit has hugs if you have the treats. Right, uh, last time we recorded all the lines for Sithis, but we didn't get as far as importing them into the creation kit. So that's going to be the first order of the day, is getting these lines that we recorded last time that I said I'd do in my own time. And I didn't because, once again, I'm a disaster. Uh, but we're going to get all these lines and we're going to import them into the CK so that Lucian will say them at the right time, which is what we want. We like him saying his lines at the right time. Yes, there is a tiny Lucian wandering around. So this one, this little chap, it was created by the wonderful Shiva and is available in the Lucian Discord if you search back for it. However, I am hoping to put it up on the Nexus with version 1.6.0. I would put it up sooner, but when I put it online, it will ping everyone who's currently following the Lucian mod, telling them there's been a new update, and they'll all get excited thinking it was version 1.6.0, and they'll just see it was Tiny Lucian instead. And Tiny Lucian is adorable, but I don't want to give everyone that false sense of, ah, and then it's, Ugh. you know. So I'm going to release it at the same time as version 1.6.0, and hopefully everyone will be happy with that. Why do you use quest stages to know what the player said and done instead of global values? Um, convention. Quest stages are more traditionally used to keep track of things like that. Um, and it's easy to do without a con without a, uh, a quest property, a script property. So if you use stages, then in the dialogue you want to keep track of, you can write um, player.getowningquest.setstage10. And you don't need to set any properties for that. You can just type that in and it just sets the stage for the quest the dialogue is attached to, which is a very easy way of flagging things. So if you want to keep track of various dialogue responses, it's quite a tidy, organized, easy way to track them with quest stages. Because also all your dialogue is attached to a quest. So if it's attached to the uh, College of Winterhold quest line and I want to know which dialogue response you chose in the College of Winterhold quest line, it makes sense to store that in the College of Winterhold questline rather than creating a new uh, global variable. Now, there's no reason you can't use a global variable, and if you're more comfortable with that, by all means, do that. Um, but I prefer to keep track of your choices through quest stages and then use global variables for other stuff that isn't necessarily quest-related. But there we go. Make a patch to use Tiny Lucian as a Lucian visual overhaul. Now, that would be adorable, wouldn't it? But I imagine that'd be quite a lot of work for someone because it doesn't look much like uh, a Skyrim character, does it? It looks like a cartoon, which is adorable. But I don't know how you'd make a cartoony looking character in Skyrim unless you're an absolute texture wizard. Hello, JCD3176. That is a mouthful to say. I'm going to call you Jukud. Hello, Jukud. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day full of festive fun 
and French, fantastic, farcical, uh, Fargonians. Um, those are the words that just came out of my mouth. There you go, alliteration. Uh, don't know what I'm saying. Juicid, okay, I'm still going to call you Jukid because it's fun. Um, turn his mesh into a plain rectangular prism and then use the sprite as its texture. Yeah, do that. Why not? What could possibly be wrong with that? It sounds horrifying. Nuna's writing Daveth. What have you worked him into your story? That's really cool. Good luck. Let me know if you want to bounce anything off me. Um, if you're looking for a voice for him, obviously you can rewatch the last two streams. Um, otherwise think Ron Moody Fagan in Oliver um combined with cut me own throat dibbler and that's probably it those two that's very exciting though i don't know what phoenix flavor is but i'm delighted that you are installing lucian lovely good very glad you like him have I played Helgen Reborn? Yes, I have. Um, the reason I haven't done a Helgen Reborn patch so far, and that makes it lower priority than some of the other quest mods I could interact with, is because Helgen Reborn cannot be installed from the get-go. You have to install it mid-playthrough, um, which means you have to install Lucian's corresponding patch for it mid-playthrough. Um, and it's just a bit messy. Um... Because installing mods mid-playthrough is usually fine. And Lucian's always designed to work when you install mods mid He's designed to work if you install him mid-playthrough. But, um... I like all of Lucian's stuff to just be installable. And it's there and you don't have to worry about it. And I just... I, I'm reluctant to have a patch that you have to remember to turn off every time you start a new playthrough. Um... So, yes, I would love to do a Helgen Reborn patch at some point in the future. But it's just a bit fiddly. Um, hey, Armator, welcome to the stream, and hello, little Jasper. You stay very comfy. Oh, you wrote a thing, a Lucy Meets Neil thing, did you, Ace? Please, uh, ping me on the Discord. Stick it in the writing channel and drop me a ping. I'd love to read it. I don't have much time to read stuff these days, but I would love to have a quick look, if you don't mind. Hello, Ninja. Welcome. Um... I certainly wasn't aware of that, Nuna. If anyone does know that you don't have to install Helgen Reborn after starting the game, please do let me know, because it always used to break the game on, on, you know, it always used to break the carriage ride. But if it doesn't break the carriage ride anymore, that's very exciting news, in which case I'll install it, because I did, I do like the mod a lot. But it always used to break the, the vanilla start. Huh, they must have fixed it. Well, that's cool. Don't know when that happened then. Um, but awesome. Good. Great news. See, what do I know? I'm just a modder. I don't know anything. Ignore me. I'm full of nonsense. Backed right up to the nose with nonsense. Right. Ah, everyone loves the vanilla opening. Don't they? Hey, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Same as us. Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn Stormcloaks. Skyrim was... F fine? Until you came along? Empire was nice and lazy. Now why is that missing a thing in my what's it? Why do I go A1, A3? That's concerning. That suggests I missed something. We might have to start playing some of these back. And make sure that they are in fact saying the right line that they're supposed to. Yeah. Sithis is the start of the house. Where's the sound? Before him was nothing. But the foolish Altma have names for and revere this nothing. Well, that all sounds dandy. So did I just give it the wrong number? Is that all? Is that all the problem is? 
sit here, sand at the nothing, and mutate nope. the parts. Nope, Don't I just didn't export the lines. So we're going to need to figure out where that one's gone, which will probably involve opening up Cubase. So, bear with me, folks. It's all very exciting times. Where has Lucian 160 Sithis A2 gone? We're going to probably have to re-export it. So, right. I'm going to click on Cubase. When I click on Cubase, for those of you who don't always tune in, every now and again, and not so often these days, but every now and again, it causes the sound card to crash. When that happens, you'll suddenly lose sound on the stream. If that does happen, please don't panic and leave. I will get the sound back as soon as possible. It'll probably be a couple of minutes if it does drop. It probably won't drop. I'm just warning you, if it does, please don't panic. Okay? Okay. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I was. that's what I always thought it was, Druxy. That you had to have it unchecked in your plugin list. Which is the problem, obviously. But if that's changed, that's wonderful news. But what I always thought was the case is it has to be, it has to be uninstalled or rather unchecked. Same difference. Um, well, not quite the same difference, but you know, as far as, far as the game itself is concerned, same difference. Um, but maybe that's different now. I don't know. Thank you so much for the follow, Jakud3176. Close. Ba ba bum ba ba bum 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 ba ba bum ba da ba dum. The audio's jumping around, is it? That's fun. Why is the audio jumping around for you? Thank you so much for the sub, Armitor! You are lovely. But what is the audio jumping around from ear to ear? That's probably because we're running in a stereo sound, which I ignored. But I can I can easily fix that. Hang on. This will make it go mono for you. Ah, no, not that one. This one. Is it this one? We want down... Oh, it is down mixed to mono. Oh, it should be fine. I don't know why that would be a problem. Is that happening for anyone else? Or is it just what? Is anyone else having their sound jumping from ear to ear? Or is it fine? Might be your headphones then, Zooey. Okey, Koki. No, I'm not upgrading. Thank you, Cubase. Which heavier story mod for Skyrim is in your playing order for the future? Ooh, I haven't downloaded a new story mod in a long time. So, uh, I would like to finish Carved Brink sometime, because I've only played through about half of that. I'd like to finish the rest of that some point in the future. Um, anything else? Don't know. Any recommendations of newer story mods that have come out recently that you guys think are really cool and that I should check out? Check the heck out of them. I've got a feeling if I try and play this, we're not going to get any audio, are we? No, it's got to play out my headphones. Where are my headphones? They were here. Here they are. Falscar's great. I like Falscar. I like Falscar so much because of how well it fits in with the vanilla game. It's very professionally produced. You wouldn't necessarily know it was a mod, except for the fact that it has opening titles and ending credits, which give away the fact that it's a mod. But if you didn't, if they didn't have those, you wouldn't be able to tell. Because it's very well produced, and I love, I love stuff that is well produced and fits in with the vanilla game. Oh. Right, plug that in there. See what happens then. Oh, no, I'm running over my own cables. Oh, that's bad. Don't do that, Joseph. Do, 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 do. Oh, Pit Fighter. I liked Pit Fighter back when it was on Steam. Carved Brink does feature a little creature in your shoulder, but that's not what it's about. That's just part of it. Right, so I need to find the bit about the lazy slaves, which is one of these lines, which you won't be able to hear when I play them, but sorry about that. Lazy slaves. This is it. 
itself, which is nothing. Cool beans. That's the one we want. Export that. Don't know why I didn't before. Maybe I did. Maybe we lost the file. Who knows? That is because they are lazy slaves. Uh, so we want to go file, export, audio mix down, A2. Export the heck out of that. Ravengate, I've never tried. Although, didn't that go into a weird sort of permanent beta status? Wasn't there a bug or something? Yeah, yeah, Helgen Reborn breaks the vanilla start. That was, that was what I always understood. Uh, and also, but it doesn't really make sense. The story doesn't make sense unless you did the vanilla start, didn't it? Don't they talk about the vanilla start as though you were there? They say, like, you were at Helgen and all of that. So you kind of have to do the vanilla start for it to make sense, don't you? Don't you? Je ne sais pas. Maybe it still makes sense. Uh, Zooey, um, if you are interested in what kit I'm using, you can look right underneath the stream here. It's outdated as far as my camera and lights go. Um, but it says if you look under the stream to the Amazon Blacksmith plugin, you'll see uh, you'll have two, access to two lists, I believe. Um, one of them is my books and the other one is my kit. And you should see a link to the microphone there. So if you give that a clickaroo, it'll tell you which one it is. It's quite expensive uh, for a starting mic. You know, it's not it's not necessarily the one I would recommend if you don't know you want to get into recording. But it has been the only microphone I have. It's not the only microphone I've ever used. It's the only microphone I've recorded on for mods. And it's always served me wonderfully. So, and it came to me thoroughly recommended by professional sound engineers. So it is a solid choice, and it comes with Cubase, which is very useful, particularly for its compression algorithm, which is solid. I have never played Beyond Reach, uh, because I, whenever I've looked at it, it's always had things like missing dialogue, which is just subtitles. It's always been unfinished whenever I've checked it out. I don't know whether they have since finished it. It's been a long time since I last checked in, but when I last looked at it, it was an unfinished mod, and that did put me off a little bit. Um, so that's why I've not done Beyond Reach. Grey, Grey Cowl of Nocturnal, I have played through the first couple of quests of. But I've never really got stuck into because I never tend to play Thieves. It so might it be one- sundered the nothing and mutated the parts, fashioning from them a myriad of possibilities. Yeah, so it might be one for us to try out with Dave, Daveth, on the, uh, on the Skyrim Saturday streams. Because he is obviously a thief. I feel he might, uh, might get on quite well with that mod. What do you think? Yes? Awesome. Awesome source. We'll do that then. That's what we'll do. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum. Uh, yeah, Vigilant, I've heard very mixed things about. On the one hand, I've heard it's an incredibly well-made quest line and set of dungeons. On the other hand, I've heard that it is not very consistent with the lore. And then it makes some quite strong claims about the law that doesn't necessarily add up with the rest of the Skyrim and Elder Scrolls established law. I had heard that about Vigilant, um, but I am not bashing the mod, of course. I've heard fantastic things about the mod. But those are, that's what's kind of holding me back from it. Because I like my mods generally to be, if not law friendly, because mods obviously never can be law friendly 100%, but law adjacent. You know, I like them to fit in with the existing law, and I'm very careful to make Lucy and always fit in with the One existing idea, law. One idea, however, became jealous and did not want to die. Like the stasis, he wanted to last. Hello, Caleb Wen. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a lovely day, whatever time it is for you. I forget where you are in the world. Skyrim Romance is definitely not for me, Yellow Ego Cat, but thank you for the recommendation. Definitely not my kind of thing. Outcasts and Revolutionaries, I've never heard of that one. What's that one like?
Now, one thing I noticed was we had a quotation mark back here, which never seemed to get closed. I don't know whether that typo is in the book. Because look, it's stasis with a little apostrophe. Is that meant to be an abbreviation for something? Or is that just a mistake? What do you think? Do you think that apostrophe is meant to be there? It doesn't seem to be closed anywhere. Or is that from the sermons, stasis asked meaning for itself, which is nothing, and that should be the end. Should I have a quotation mark there, do we reckon? What do you think, friends? Hello, River Moon! Moon River Something, something, something I'm crossing you with style someday Uh... No, nobody got any thoughts? Okay, let's look it up. Two drifters after see the world there's such a lot of world to see yeah there should be an apostrophe at the end there that's what the mistake is fixed it i'm so pro do 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 heartbreaker Wherever you're going, I don't really know what the tune is there. Yeah, let's not get into the whole uh, pros and cons of Sky and Romance or anything. I was just addressing it because it was recommended, but let's let's not get into, you know, critical discussion of other mods because that's never been fun. Very happy to have recommendations. Recommendations are lovely. But um, thank you so much for the sub, Winnie Ebb. Welcome. Uh, the Joseph Russell. I don't know whether I deserve the definite article. I'm a Joseph Russell. That is my name. Um, and it's it's lovely, <laughs> lovely of you to say that, I guess. Um, but I I certainly wouldn't go around calling myself the Joseph Russell. If you say so, Nuna. <laughs> If your Twitch is delayed, uh, you might want to try refreshing. If you hit refresh, that often sorts out, often bumps it up to the, the real uh, real time stuff. The one and only. Definitely not the one and only. <laughs> there are other Joseph Russells, and I know that because I really want the website domain josephrussell.com. But someone else has got it, and I can't get it. And I really want it because I want to change my website to josephrussell.com rather than being josephrussellauthor.com. Uh, and that's a pain. So yeah, there are other Joseph Russells. There's also there's there's one who's a cameraman for Doctor Who, or he was on Doctor Who back in the Russell T Davies era. Um, there's another Joseph Russell who is a photographer, I think. And I think they're the one who had the original Joseph Russell. Had found the Adric weakness. Um, and there's one who was a U.S. senator back in like the 1800s. Can you tell I've totally never Googled myself? <laughs> oh. No dueling. Who's dueling? Don't duel. Duels are dangerous. See you, Art Time Greece. Have a lovely slep. Ah, she's back. Couldn't make her mind up whether she wanted to come in or not. She knocked on the door, didn't know if she wanted to come in. Did you hear her knock? She scratches on the door when she wants to come in. So, Yeah, hey. Do you know there's a whole internet out there? No, she doesn't. She thinks it's just me. No, there's lots of people here. They like you. They think you're pretty. You know that? No. She knows she's pretty. 
Oh, we got kicking. We got kicking. Oh, heck. Gosh. Right. Where are you going to go? You're going to sit on my lap or are you going to head off? She's off. She is cute, isn't she? She's cuter than me. <laughs> and she's smaller. And she's better at getting into, like, narrow spaces. And catching mice. But I can mod better. So there's that. Right. No, treats for Grey is... She's already had five treats this stream. She might get some more towards the end, but we can't overfeed her. That would be bad. She needs to stay healthy. Lucian wants it so sick as A12. Let's have a listen to this. Make sure it's what we're expecting so it to be. So while they ruled their false dominions, Lorcan filled the void with a myriad of new ideas. These ideas, ideas were, were legion. legion. Lovely. Good. Don't know who that voice actor is, but he sounds handsome. Um... <laughs> Nope, that's not right. Nope, come on. You know, he sounds like you should uh, follow and subscribe to his Twitch channel. That, that's what, I don't know who that voice actor is, but whoever he is, you know, you should. You should you should, you should should like and follow and subscribe and, and all of that. Honestly, you know, if you can find him. Don't know, don't know why, I just get that feeling. Is it David Tennant? Well... No, it's not David Tennant. Have I used the Skyship as part of the Legacy of the Dragonborn epic mod? No, I haven't got that far yet through it. I have not got to the airship yet, but I've heard of it and it sounds cool. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Yes, Nova Blade, it was. That was me attempting to do a one word impression of David Tennant. <laughs> I'm glad you recognized it at least. Oh, thank you very much for hosting. That's very lovely of you. Uh, yeah, so uh, you are very welcome. Uh, for the follower mod tutorials. You're making a Gordon Ramsay follower. That sounds beautiful. I look forward to seeing it. Do bear in mind that his voice and likeness and everything are his property. Um, so you could potentially run into copyright issues. Uh, also, particularly if you're taking any sound from any of his television programs to voice him, um, that will all be copyrighted. So do be careful that you're not putting yourself into legal hot water by doing that. But if you're just making... Uh, you know, just making it look like him, you'll probably be fine with that. But yeah, just be careful pinching sound from any television programs. Awesome, Shadow Wolf. Uh, make sure you download the Lucian patch. Make sure you download the Lucian Elsewhere patch, and that will make him say, uh, has a hundred lines to say about Elsewhere. I loved making that patch, actually. It's one of my absolute favourite parts of the mod. And it's got some Star Wars references in there, too. <laughs> so. Uh, their, their, Belf their Belfin girl... Um, yes, I am, I am very, very, very slowly working my way through the entirety of Doctor Who, including comics, books, audio dramas, etc. Uh, starting from the very beginning, uh, right the way up to modern. So I'm, I watch through modern as it airs, uh, but I'm very slowly working my way through everything else. So I am as far as Tom Baker, halfway through Tom Baker. Um, I'm as far as, uh, sort of, he's got Leela and they've been on a few adventures together. So that is where I am with my classic Doctor Who watch. And I love it. You know, yes, it's it's some of the sets are, shall we say, lovingly made. As are the uh, the visual effects and everything. It's all a bit janky. But I think that's part of its charm. It's wonderful. Big fan of classic Who. And Tom Baker is a legend. You know, he's wonderful.
You'd be surprised. Um, where you would run into problems um, better than yours is that, because I'm not going to say your full name, um, where you would run into problems is if you or anyone else did a Let's Play featuring your character, your follower, if you used audio from a television program, then YouTube's content matching algorithms would automatically detect that you're using that sound. And that would lead to copyright claims on any YouTube videos featuring your follower, which will be a problem for you or anyone else uh, using it. And in addition, that would also then tip off the people who own the rights to that, that you have used their audio in your mod. And that would make it an awful lot easier for them to actually find your mod and cease and desist it. Like, I know it seems unrealistic and unlikely, but uh, I think it's more probable than you probably think it is. So just do be aware. And they absolutely will care. The fact that it makes no money is of no consequence whatsoever to you, the people who make these programs and do copyright claims. They will claim you quite happily, even if you don't make a dime. Oh, the rebel fangirl! I don't know why I didn't spot that. There, Belf and Girl. Yeah, I don't know why I found that so difficult. The Rebel Fangirl. That makes sense. You want another look at my fancy festive spectacles? Uh, where'd I put them? Because I'm a rocket man. Rocket man burning up a dead, dead bear. There we go. Have I started Jago and Lightfoot? Yes, I have lis I've listened to the Companion Chronicles, Jago and Lightfoot, and the first episode of the main series, and it's lovely. I'm only going to listen to series one until I get to the end of Leela's story in the main watch through, because I know obviously she appears in it, and I don't want to skip ahead in her storyline. Um, but yes, it's lovely, isn't it? See you, Gracie Chell. Once again, better than yours. That's not how it works. Just because other people have done it before doesn't mean you're safe from claiming. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm just warning you this will happen to you. You know. You will, you might find just suddenly that they decide to claim you and you'll be in, you'll wish you hadn't, you know. Just, just bear it in mind. Oh, please do Art of Lucian in them Ninja Cheddar Biscuits. I totally would. I would love to see that. It's just my experience from making YouTube videos and stuff. Uh, copyright claiming is more widespread than it's ever been before. They are really clamping down on it. These glasses are great, aren't they? So yeah, these were a present from my supervisor for our Christmas quiz, which was on Zoom. And I won, or rather my team won, which was wonderful. It had a bunch of stupid questions in it, like find five red things, and whoever could find five red things in their house first won. <laughs> Draw the best Father Christmas. Or Santa Claus, as you Americans say. Oh, and they had one which was draw the best imaginary animal. Do you want to see my imaginary animal? That's, you know, fantastic art. Are you ready? This was my imaginary animal. Don't know if you can see it there. Might make it big. Hang on. Oh, and it's not in focus. Here we go. So this is the PhD dragon that I drew. As you can see, it's an absolute masterpiece. It's got different colours on it because there were bonus points for different colours on some of the rounds. Uh, so here he is, and I'm hoping the PhD dragon will bless me with a successful PhD. Uh, so there you go. That was my contribution to the Christmas quiz. Yes, you can 100... Please, yes, Mazikin. I would love that so much. Please draw... <laughs> If you want to, please draw a proper version of the PhD dragon, like a better art version of that, because I will send it to my lab. I will send it to everyone who saw the PhD dragon before, and it will be the funniest thing. So, yes, please do. <laughs> I would love it if you did that. When am I due to get my PhD slash graduate? In about two years' time. 
probably. So there we go. I, know, I hope you're enjoying these glasses. I'm enjoying them. They do actually say ho, ho, ho. It took me a while to realize this. There's an H there and an H, H there. So it's like ho, ho, ho. You know. <sighs> anyway, while I'm here, I'll show you my Father Christmas as well. This was Draw the Best Father Christmas. Slash Santa Claus. Is that you, Santa Claus? I better cover that up so you can't see that name. But So we were the magical Quizmas elves. And uh, this is my my rendition of Father Christmas. There you go. You see? Yeah, I was going for the points for speed there. I was going for whoever got the first Father Christmas in. So, um, there you go. I am a fantastic artist. Don't you know? Can you see why I didn't go into art? Can you see why I just do the, uh, the voice acting and the coding for Lucian and don't try and do, like, uh, artistic creation stuff? Anyway, right. Back into the corner. I'm going to take these off because they do kind of... They're a lot on my face. <laughs> um, right. Uh, screen with camera. Yeah, no, I don't think I should do that better than yours. So yeah, that was the lab Christmas quiz. It was good fun. They're all lovely people. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum -bum. I'll just check that this line is actually the line we're expecting it to be and that I haven't caused myself a disaster. Oh, there's been lots of fan art of, of me done before in Discord, which is lovely. Oh gosh, that was a bit of a mouthful. Um, I wonder what I just said. Mazakan's done do and Zooey have done rude. sketches, which I love. I've got them saved on my phone, actually. I show people the sketches that you guys did of me every now and again. Because it's quite fun. I have a whole folder full of Lucian fan art that I save and show to friends and stuff. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just very proud of it. You know, the fact that something I made has fan art is just baffling. And yeah, the fact that some of you done fan art from me as well is particularly baffling. Uh, hello, Jester Blues. Nice to meet you. Um, buy me a drink first. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Save. Right. So what we've done. We've done all of that. Um, can I add more player death reactions for variability? Yeah, it's a good idea. Because um, that'll be nice. Because, yeah, he does uh, He does cry no a lot. He only has one line for... Well, two lines. He has a second variant if you have a custom name. Um, so... Yeah, that would be a good thing to add. Probably. So, well, may, may, if we get time after doing the books, maybe I'll do that. I'll think about it, certainly. It's definitely a good idea for something to add. Yeah, no, not that. Dragonborn. Dragonborn. Dragonborn! Right, okay, so reading. Reading. Sithis. Okay, Advanced Lockpicking we did, Adrian Deidre we've done, Tragedy in Black we've done, Boethia's Glory we've done, Book of the Dragon Ball we've done, Children of the Sky we've done, Hawker Attacks we've done, Nerevar Moon and Star we've done, Sithers we've done. So the only one we've got left to do, I think, because we did this as well, yeah, is the Changed Ones. That's the final book. So if we do that today, we're done with this book reading stuff, which will be a wonderful bit of progress to have made. Hello, 2D's Toilet Break. Welcome. I'm delighted your sister's finding that so enjoyable, Just the Blues. He is a living audiobook, yes. That is one of his functions. 
Because I like that. I think it's a fun feature because so many of Skyrim's books are so long that you never really sit down and read them, or you often don't. And having Lucian tell you them, you know, as you run along, the idea is you can listen listen to them as you run along on your adventures, which is a nice thing. I mean, it's a very, very limited pool of books you can read, but I do hope to carry on expanding it over the next few years or something. Um, so, yeah. A Lucian audio play would be wonderful. If anyone knows anyone at Big Finish who'd like to commission it, do let me know. Do you think I will collab with any other mod followers? Yeah, for sure. I'd love to keep doing collabs because that's what got Lucian to the point where he is. You know, it's only thanks to people collabing with me and taking the chance on me, particularly before the mod had even been released, that Lucian ever became a success. I don't think he would have made nearly as big a splash if he didn't have those interactions with um, Hoth and Ori and Kaiden right at the start, and then to a lesser extent the Inigo ones, but they are spliced, so obviously not quite the same. Um, so I'd love to do more. I'd love to do more interactions with people, it's, and I have agreed to with quite a few uh, people because I'm always very willing to talk about it, um, you know, and discuss it with new mod authors for sure, um, you know, to kind of give back to that chance people took on me, uh, but it's time, you know, I don't have much time, time is very limited, and I'm really pushing to try and get version 1.6.0 out as soon as possible, so I don't really want to take on more work right now. Kaiden is being worked on by another person now who is right here in the chat, or was earlier. And I would, I would like to, it would be nice to revisit the Kaiden interactions at some point in the future. But I have so many other time commitments right now of stuff I want to mod. I'm not, I think, going back to revisit existing dialogue for existing stuff we already have interactions for is quite low priority at the moment. When I've got so many other high priority things to address. But I would like to at some point in the future. That would be nice to do. I would love to do Velia interactions. That is a dream I would love to do. Um, but the mod author and voice actor are retired, so it's not going to happen. I'd love to. If, if if Emma ever came out of retirement to do that, I would be absolutely over the moon. But um, I think it's highly unlikely. Yeah, the author of Shazerine's Osmond, Os Shazerine's Osmond, that's uh, Ozzy Osmond's uh, lesser known brother. The author of that did reach out to me a while ago. Um, and we did talk about doing interactions, and I would like to get to that at some stage, but I never actually, we never actually got around to making that happen. That's partly my fault. Sorry. Time again. So many other things on my plate. Um, but it is something I would like to do, maybe, at some point, if the author and the voice actor are still up for it. But I can't do it soon, I'm afraid, because I've already got so many other commitments on the go. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah, it's not something I can pursue right now, 2D's toilet break, but it's something that I would look at at some point in the future, potentially, when I have, um, when I have time for it. But it's not something I have time to do right now. Right, we're ready to battle with the pop filter. Always fun. Love fighting a pop filter on stream. It's never a disaster. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hit going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The good thing about this room is it's not flat walls, it's all sloping. Which means we don't have that horrible echo effect we have in my office, in my apartment. So, it's really good that way. So I don't need to worry about hanging up a duvet behind me. It's just fine. Um, oh, you made a warm sketch. Is it in the fan art chat? Let me just put camera back on just while I open up Discord in case I don't want to show any of you any of my private messages or anything. Um, oh, bless. Let me, let me switch across to the screen with camera. Here we go. Look! Look what Mazakin did! It's the PhD dragon! Where are his wings though? My one definitely had wings. Is this a baby version? His wings are gonna grow out later. Is that how it works? Is that the life cycle of the PhD dragon? His wings are gonna grow out when he's big. That's very cute. Look at him. We love the PhD dragon. Yay, 
he's doing quite well for popularity at the moment, isn't he? Better than yours. He does quite well on the Xbox as well. Which is lovely that Xbox console players are uh, are into the mod. Very nice. And uh, Xbox players will be getting the custom names feature in the next update. That's something that's been in the works for a long time that I'm really excited to be able to let all you Xbox players uh, access that list of custom names to have Lucy and call you by name as well. So that will be fun. What do you mean, how do I get chats, Daedric Mistress Void? What do you mean by that? Yes, exactly. It's 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 intent. It's uh, inspired by Codsworth. Not that I've really got into Fallout, but uh, the fact that Codsworth could do it was what convinced me that it was possible to do. Um, so yeah, that's why I ended up going down that route. Correct. The custom name list on the website Bard just has the names that are in the existing uh, available version. I'll update it when version one point six point zero is released with the new names. But it doesn't make sense to have names on that list that aren't there right now, you know, because that would just be confusing to existing players who would tell me how confused they are by posting hundreds of bug reports and uh, angry comments and things, which I don't want to invite. So there we go. Right, we've got the pot filter set up. We are all good to start recording some more liner Roonies. Shout out from Nuna to Bard of Forger. For you, I can never remember. I'm sorry. You've told me like five billion times how I say that. And I've forgotten because my brain is a sieve made of Swiss cheese. Anyway, um, shout out to Bard for giving them the very best idea for yet another Narusa alternate universe. R, which I'm assuming is an R and not an acronym for Angry Rabbits Give Happiness. But maybe they do. What do you mean it doesn't let me have chats on Discord? If, it, if you can't access most of the Discord, you probably need to accept the rules. You've got to thumbs up the accepted rule, thumbs up the rules section on Discord if you've just joined. And if you've done that and you still aren't able to post, I suggest getting in touch with Discord support. Otherwise, you might be trying to post in a channel that people who aren't me can't post in. For ya. For ya. I'll really try and remember it. No, bud. You're a very important person in my memory banks. You're my fall guys, buddy. Or one of them. I need to make sure I can say your name right. Right, let's, let's, let's record... But to do that, I'm going to need to do a little warm-up. I'm going to need to get into the Lucian voice. Could you do the warm-up exercise as a pep talk to anyone making a mod? Hello there, my name is Lucian Flavius, and I'm here to tell you that you can do it. It may seem hard sometimes, it might be difficult, but if you believe in yourself, and you put the work in, and you make the effort to do more than the average person who gives up after 10 minutes, then you'll find that you're able to achieve far more than you think you can. Not just with making a mod, but with life. Your capacity to succeed far exceeds what your brain thinks you can. Each of you are marvellous. It's true. Each of you is marvellous, if I'm being grammatically correct. And um, you should always bear that in mind. It's a very important fact. You can do it. And certainly if this Joseph Russell fellow can make a mod, then Divines know you can do it much better. Because what does he know? So there you go. I hope that's helpful. My name is Lucian Flavius. My name is Lucian Flavius. I say hello, hello, hello. It's not quite getting there, is it? I'm still slightly Joseph. Still slightly Joseph. I've got to move it forward in the front of my mouth. Hello there. My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, and something musician, though I suppose that's uh, more of a hobby, really. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me, not on my own anyway, so I'm looking for someone to travel with. Flirt? 
Uh, no, that wasn't my intention. Uh, not at all. I just meant I was hoping to do business with you. Ah, not like that. Can we start again? Right, oh, I think we're there. My name is Flucian Lavius. I'm a flyantist, philosopher, wamater izzard, and monthling of a suzician. That's a bizarro, Lucian. Fairy stories! I'll have you know that understanding the history and mythology of Tamriel is a complex and engaging study. With applications all throughout modern life. But then, I wouldn't expect you to understand. Damn bird brain. Why doesn't Lucian play music for you? Because I'm not good enough at the guitar yet. Because that Joseph Russell character hasn't got good enough at playing Ragnar the Red on the guitar for me to be able to record it as a loot piece. He did try getting in touch with someone at some point to potentially do the audio recording, the music, for him, but that all fell through in the end and nothing came of it, which was a terrible shame. But he's still trying and practicing the guitar every day, hoping to one day be able to play well enough to uh, record loot music for Lucian. So there we are. Righto, let's record this book. What, what? Splendid! Marvellous! Hello! Goodness me. Gosh! Of all the Etada who wondered Nern, Trinimac was the strongest. Let's take that line again, because Grey's bell jingled in the background when I said it. Also, are we saying Etada or Etada? What do we think? How's that said? Etada, etada. I'm gonna. I like etada. Does that sound all right? Etada. Yeah, noon is down with etada. Etada. And whenever I read IMO, as in in my opinion, I know that means in my opinion, but my brain goes IMO. Not that I know anyone called IMO, but that's what happens. Hakuna Matata. No, I don't think that's it. Anyway, uh, etada it is. Let's try it again. If you could keep quiet, pop it. That would be great. Thank you. Of all the Etada who wondered Nern, Trinimac was the strongest. He, for a very long time, fooled the Ald Mary into thinking that tears were the best response to the sundering. They cried and shamed our ancestors, especially the feminine Altma. They even took the missing god's name in vain, calling his narratives into question. Oh, I like that, Nova Blade. A fake! Yes, exactly. Oh, Inigo and Lucian duets would be wonderful, wouldn't they? But unfortunately, they're quite difficult to splice. Is Grey a chatty catty or a reserved one? I don't know, are you? What do you say? She is, she does chat. She will, she will often, uh, often call for me when she comes in. Like, when she comes in through the cat flap, she'll normally wander into the hall and yell, like, Meow! To which I reply, Hi! And she'll come running up. Um, or she'll often chirrup when she's about to jump up. Like if she's about to jump onto my lap. Which she doesn't normally do when I'm streaming because I make noise. But when she's about to, she goes... As like, can I come up? So yeah, she does talk. Not talk, but you know, she does chat. Could I record a line with Grey and add it to the mod? I don't know where I would use a line with Grey. Oh, that's lovely you to say, Armata. I think the Inigo dialogue we were able to create by splicing works well. It was just getting it to that standard was very difficult and continuing to do it in the future is just not really something that's sustainable. She is cute, isn't she? And if she sees a bird outside, she sits by the window and goes, like that. 
bless her. Oh, and sometimes she'll yell Yang. Yang! For no real reason. It's just a noise. <laughs> yeah, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it be, Dwem wouldn't it, Dwemer Cog? But, uh, but no, I'm not going to just have a random cat noise with no explanation. I did think, though, for Jacuzzi, right, the uh, follower, the Khajiit follower from my tutorial series, I did think about maybe using some noises from Grey as, like, idle dialogue from him. Like, uh, maybe a combat noise or, like, just as a greeting. He might just meow at you. I don't know whether that's racist to Khajiit. But I thought that could be fun. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't really know what the combat noises would be. Because I'm not exactly going to try and make Grey hiss. Because that would be horrible. But. I don't know. Maybe when he's arching. When he's doing like archery. Shooting. If I could get her to do the ek 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 noise. And I could get a microphone near her while she's doing that. That could be quite fun. And yes, the, the rrrr would be quite good fun. Having a rrrr. Will I have my Khajiit and Lucien interact? Yes, I'll be doing that in order to demonstrate how you set up interactions between mods. That will be many episodes time. And I know I haven't done an episode in ages. That's because I've been focusing on Lucien right now. But I will be returning to that series in the future. And there will be an episode dedicated to how you make followers interact. And I'll be demonstrating that by showing you uh, setting it up with Lucien. So they will talk to each other. But don't ever expect J Jacuzzi to be as big a thing as uh, as Lucien is. Because he's, he's not intended to be that kind of large scale. It's just a demonstration thing. But it will be released and available for you to download when it's done. Um. <laughs> that would be very convoluted, Ego Cat. <laughs> right, anyway, next set of lines. Who's excited for the Mandalorian season finale, finale tomorrow? No spoilers. Do be careful not to spoil. Uh, but who's excited for it? I'm excited for it. Can't wait to see how it ends. Hello, Turbo Tsunami. Welcome to the stream. Well, let's just wait for this plane to go past. Planes? You don't hear them much anymore, do you? Come on, fly over. I don't want you on my microphone. You big metal bird full of people. Yeah, no spoilers, please, Master T3318. I did specifically ask, please, not to spoil. So please don't. Otherwise, I just won't be able to talk about these things on stream. But I think it's nice to be able to talk about these things on stream in a non-spoilery way. But I'm really not afraid to, to ban if you guys start aren't able to, you know, avoid spoiling. Because it's very important to me. Spoilers are really a big issue for me. I'm always very careful to avoid them. Because they completely ruin things for me when they get spoiled. I am very excited for Masterful. Yes, Ego Cat. Yeah, so let's not spoil any of the new season, yeah? PhD Dragon is done. Let's, let's have a look. Go on then. Let's have a look. Oh, bless. Oh, you gave him horns. And he's got the spots. Oh, that is adorable. Look at that. Oh, my word. Look at him. Look at his little face. Oh, I feel I've been blessed by the PhD dragon. I don't know. Is that better than mine, though? I mean, when you compare them. You know, it's really, it's a really good try you've done there, Mazakin. But I just don't know if it compares to the lofty heights of this. You know, is it, is it just up to scratch? I mean, I, I mean, you can't really compete with a master, can you? You know, an artistic master like me, with a sketch like that. But you've done a really good try, to try and uh, recapture my majesty that I've managed there. I am, of course, kidding. That is fantastic, and I wish to the divines I could draw like that. I wish I could. Can you, can you fax me the power? Can you let me know? Well, I'm hoping the dragon has a PhD in biomedical engineering so he can give it to me. Oh, I love it. 
Thank you so much for drawing that, Mazikan. That's made me so happy. I'm going to send that to uh, many people, if that's all right. I hope you don't mind, because it'll make a lot of people laugh. Am I planning to do voice lines for the Dawn Guard storyline? Uh, yes, in the future. That's the next major quest line I'm planning doing an attractions for. And I did at one point plan it to be in version 1.6.0 and that's not happened. So please don't expect that to be in there because it's not. Um, and that's not me saving it as a surprise. It's just not there. Uh, but I would like to do it in the future for sure. He has a PhD in getting PhDs. Oh, that's a good PhD. Shout out from Zooey to Mazikin for being marvellous. Mazikin, you are marvellous. It's true. Vampire Lucian is absolutely definitely not happening, no. That would involve completely rewriting his entire character. Right, let's try this again. So one day, Boethia, Prince of Plots, precocious youth. Let's try saying that again. So one day... Boethia, prince of plots, precocious youth, tricked Trinimac to go into his mouth. Boethia talked like Trinimac for a while then, and gathered enough people to listen to him. Boethia showed them the lies of the Etarda, the Aedra, and told them Trinimac was the biggest liar of all, saying all this with Trinimac's voice. And there's another plane. Sarcast sarcastic shout out from Ace to themselves for forgetting to take the trash out when bin day bin when pickup day was yesterday, and now the bins aren't in their place yet, so they have to just leave the bag in their apartment till they are. I'm so sorry. That sounds very uncomfortable and smelly. I'm sorry about that. I hope I hope it's able to be sorted out soon. Mazikin, you do deserve all the compliments. You're an amazing arter. Massive respect to you. Boethia told the mass before him the triangled truth. He showed them, with Mephala, the rules of psychic endeavour. Literally, what? Just what? What is this book even on about? But it doesn't matter! We just need to read it. Would Lucian consider becoming a werewolf if he transformed into an adorable puppy, an adorable puppy instead? Uh, bless him, that sounds adorable, but no. No, he would not. Because he doesn't want to give his soul to her scene. Because he likes having a soul. He's using it. He taught them how to build houses and what items they needed to bury in the corners. He demonstrated the right way to wear their skin. He performed the way to walk to achieve an exodus. Then Boethia relieved himself of Trinimac right there on the ground before them to prove all the things he said were the truth. It was easy for his new people to become the changed ones. Gosh, that was all a bit odd. Not really sure what happened. But that's the way with all the best mythology, isn't it? One more take. Gosh, that was all a bit odd. Not really sure what happened. But that's the way with all the best mythology, isn't it? a better take and we're done <laughs> glad you're enjoying them check <laughs> it is a weird book 
Would Lucian ever consider becoming a professional dog caregiver? <laughs> no, he'd, he'd consider it in that he loves doggos. Um, but he would never, he wouldn't professionally become it because he's, he's, he's married to science, you know, science is his, is his life. Uh, he's not gonna, not gonna become a, a, a dog caregiver. Um, but I'm sure he'd think about it because I think about that. I'd love to look after dogs, but I do have other things I want to do with my life. Um, you know, I have my science and my creation and stuff. Uh, but I do love dogs and I will seize any opportunity to look after dogs whenever it occurs because dogs are the best. Well, no, so are cats. You're the best, Grey. She's sleeping. She's not interested. Did the stream just drop for anyone else? I hope you can all still hear me. Yes, exactly, Zoe. Lucian, I love you. Sorry, I'm married to science. But I'm flattered, you know? Flattered. Would Lucian start serving old Tricky Mora for all the knowledge? Will he be tempted? So no, he wouldn't, but yes, he would be tempted. He would definitely be tempted. That's why, partly why he's so hostile to the Ogma and Finium, and why he's so careful to warn you about it, because for him, knowledge represents the biggest temptation of all. And I think you see that, without spoiling anything, I think you see that in his quest lines, in his personal quests. Um, you know... He is uniquely vulnerable, perhaps more so than than uh, than a lot of people in Skyrim, uh, to the temptations of knowledge. Uh, especially if they promised him truths he really wanted. You know, there's a lot of stuff he really wants to know. So I, I think he walks a very delicate line, which you don't really see much. But I think there is there is a dark path for Lucian. He could very easily fall down. I think without the influence of the Dragonborn looking after him, with all the best intentions in the world, I think the knowledge that's there that's forbidden to him and the, the uh, implications thereof could affect him in a big way if he ever allowed that to happen. So, yeah, now we're exporting and listening back and all that... All that whole shebang, shenanigans, whoopsie doodle. Ah! Sorry, Grey, that was scary, wasn't it? That woke her up. That's me throwing uh, my um, pop filter on the floor. Uh, right. My glasses frames look almost exactly like Druxy's, uh, except without the lower rim. Cool! I'm pleased for you. You've obviously got good taste. Shout out to River Moon's cat who is whacking the screen. Don't whack me. I'm nice. Maybe they just want to hug me. Come on, River Moon's cat. Bring it in. Bring it in. Mm, no, never mind. Ugh, right. Okie dokie. What did you talk about while I was gone? Did you, did you have fun conversations about holes and things? I hope so, otherwise there'll be trouble. Always with the arson. You people are incorrigible. That's we're still on Sithis sundering stuff there. So Sithis. Here we are. This is the Etarda. Lovely. That was a good take, Joseph. Why thank you, Joseph. Oh, you're welcome, Joseph. All the Etardo who wondered Nern, Trinamac was the strongest. Good old Trinamac. I don't really know anything about this law. Uh, but there we go. So this was the Changed Ones, that freaky deaky book. Shout out to Mazakin for actually drawing something today. Well done, Mazakin. You drew the PhD dragon and we love it. Can Lucian comment about Anise and her cabin? Uh, probably at some point in the future, but it's not really a priority at this stage. And it's a bit fiddly to implement because it's not a straightforward quest. It's a, more of an instance. 
an encounter. He, for a very long time, fool. Frostfall's a brilliant mod. I love Frostfall. You can see that in Lucy and the Dragonborn. Uh, and in the Daveth Skyrim playthrough. Little click at the end there, so just need to make sure I cut off the line in good time. There we go. Ba ba bum ba ba bum bum bum. All of the other retarder used to laugh and call him names. They never let Boethia join in any Aedra games. Then one foggy, spooky eve, Boethia a Trinimac. Dunmo with your eyes so bright. Won't you worship me tonight? Then how the Adra loved him. Or the Altman. Then how the Altma loved him. As they shouted out with glee. But we fear the sneaky Daedra. You'll go down in history. Just to clarify, that was written by Bard. Uh, just now. That's why it worked so well. Because Bard wrote it out. Those were wonderful lyrics. Thank you for providing that, Bard. I love it. Uh, please don't do that, Master T. I have very strict rules about keeping it all wholesome. Can we please not go down non-wholesome routes? Thank you. It's because Bard's a bard. That's why Bard writes songs that I can write and sing. You know, I can't write them. Sorry, that's why Bard writes songs for me to sing. Because Bard's a bard. There's a little breath at the front there. I either need to include it or not include it, but not partially. There we go. Bard does live up to their name. The Altma. Oh, we already did this one. Didn't we? Hang on. Yeah. One. Two. Oh, I've confused myself now. Oh, potatoes. Oh, that's three. Hang on. He, for a very long time, fooled the Alt Mary into thinking that tears were the best response to the sundering. Okay, that's what that one was. Which should have been... That should have been number two, so we'll rename that one. This is where I went wrong before. There we go, which means this one now needs to be number three. And we've got a bot! Why do the bots keep coming back? Am I really that interesting? No, I'm not. Please leave me alone, bots. Shout out to Gracie Child's dad, who just came in and asked who's singing Christmas music. It's me. I'm singing Christmas music. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell king. Don't really know the words to this song, but you can't go wrong. A jingle bell time is a swell time to sing a song you don't know. Jingle bell, jingle bell, and the jingle bell, jingle bell, da -da -da, riding in a one horse sleigh. Ah, oh, flawless. It's like they were in the room. Very open to Christmas song requests today, by the way. If any of you want them, do let me know. It is the 17th of December. It's time for Christmas. Oh, have a blue Christmas without you. Boethia, Prince of Plots, Precocious Youth. One day, Boethia, Prince of Plots. Okay, there we go. That's that line. 
How would Lucian react to the PhD dragon? He would love him. He would. Yes, they would be best friends and Lucian would ride the PhD dragon across the skies of Skyrim into the lands of academia and together they would write wonderful theses and be extremely well qualified with no free time and no money. But we fear talked like Trinimac. Oh, whoopee do. I wanna be like Trinimac. I wanna walk like him, talk like him, Scooby Dooby Dim. What about a mod of singing NPCs where a bunch of people will walk on the streets of towns in Skyrim and sing with Joseph's voice? That sounds like one of those weird dreams I've had when I've eaten too much cheese. I'm not sure that would be a mod that people like. I think that might be a slight nightmare. Shout out from Ninja to Joseph, that's me, I'm Joseph, for creating Daveth and to Nuna for writing and showing me what they have of Daveth so far for the Narusa and Nara AU we have and it all making me giggle so much because Daveth makes me so very happy. Well, that's lovely to hear, you know, love making you happy. If I hear I've made people happy, then that's all I really want. Well, I want that and money, that and loads of money and gold, lots of gold and a comfy bed, maybe a nice woman. And a, and a lovely time for everyone concerned. And for you to be happy. Okay. A mansion. Loss of gold. An attractive wife. All the power in Skyrim. Uh, eternal life. And for you to be happy. Those are the six things that I want for you. The six, six things I want in all the world. That's it. Yeah. Little message from Davith there for you. So, Joseph, Paragon or Renegade? I am a definitely in more in the Paragon alignment when I play through games. Uh, because I can't, I, I can't bring myself to be bad in games. I always try and immersively role play. And, um, and I just can't, if I'm evil in games, it just makes me feel really bad. Scooby Dooby Doo, I wanna be like you, be Dooby Doo. I wanna walk like you, talk like you, Dooby Dooby Doo. Oh, say it's true. Scooby Doo Doo, an ape like me. Scooby Doo, one wild can I learn to be a human too? I hope you enjoyed, Nuna. Can I learn to be a like someone like you? The rules of Sigic Endeavor, my favorite rules. Sigic rules, okay? Hello, Narusa. You seem like a like a lovely, a lovely person. I'm very much looking forward to uh, getting to know you. Uh, and if there's any way that, with all your uh, knowledge and wisdom, you might see your way to uh, acquiring some more gold uh, for us, for us, definitely for us as a pair, not specifically for me, for us collectively, with a big cut for me, then I would greatly appreciate it. I would be indebted to you. Uh, well, not indebted in terms of monetary value, indebted in terms of uh, affection, because obviously uh, I wouldn't want to be involved in a financial agreement as such, beyond the fact that you give me gold, because I like gold to travel from you to me, rather than from me to you. That's just my preferential arrangement. So that if that could happen, I would be delighted. Thank you very much. Uh, have a lovely day. Shout out from Mazakin to their school for making them watch a Christmas movie today instead of doing work. That's a lovely shout out. I love when that used to be a thing. He taught them how to build houses. He's an engineer. Hello, Nara love. I noticed you seem to be carrying around a lot of gold and I just wondered 
it looks awfully heavy, you know, it looks very heavy, and I just thought you might be struggling, Nara, and I, I just thought, if you were to give it to me, I could hold it, you know, I could carry that around with me, just have it, like, I could hold it, and I'll look after it, and if you just, oh, look at that over there, there's a really shocking thing just there, and he's gone, that's how that would play out, I think. What would Lucian do if he was transferred into the Mass Effect universe? Um, collapse with nerdy joy. Learn everything there is to know. And probably get himself killed. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, Mazakan. That's probably how it would actually play out. Look, a well-placed distraction! Yeet! <laughs> Oh, I, I was just I was just bringing you gold over here. That was all. I just thought I could look after it better from over here. Please don't hit me. Not in the face. Please. Hello there. What's your name? Oh, uh, hello. My name's Lucian Flavius. What's yours? Uh, the names are. You can call me Dave. Just Dave. Just Dave. Um, listen, uh, uh Mister Mister Flavius. Yes, hello. Um, I was just wondering if uh, if you were looking for someone to travel with. Well, funnily enough, I am actually looking for someone to travel with. Do you think we could travel together? Oh yes, that'd be marvellous. Um, and did you mention uh, did you mention having gold? Uh, yes, I did. And I just wondered uh, whether you'd be willing to accept, so shall we say, three hundred gold up front? Three hundred gold sounds marvellous. Certainly, three hundred gold works for me. Splendid. Thank you very much. Look, a well-placed distraction. Oh, really? It's funny, I can't see a distraction. Daveth? Daveth, where have you gone? Do-do-do. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. quite a niche little scene there ready for those of you who tune into both the Thursday and Saturday streams. There we go. Lucian is quite naive, yes, it's true. Bad luck spilling coffee on your shirt, Ace. That sounds unpleasant. Just exporting these last lines. It was easy for his new people to become the changed ones. Thing is, yes, Lucian's naive, but he's well-meaning. You know, he does his best. Oh, we liked the second take of that. Or I did. Gosh, that was all a bit odd. What does what what he does thematically with this dragon bone? He asks the player to give it to him. Looks at it. He looks at it very closely. Picks it up, puts it down, pokes it. Turns it over, makes a sketch of it, probably tries licking it, uh, sniffs it, uh, puts it on his head to see if he can wear it as a hat, decides that's probably not the best move, um, takes it home to Cyrodiil after he's done with adventuring with the Dragonborn, puts it on a shelf, proudly points to it whenever anyone comes round and says, look at that, it's, it's a dragon bone. Um, yeah. That's probably the plan. Oh yeah, probably that too.
How vulnerable would Lucian be to fall under Hermes Mora's influence? So we already talked about this a little bit earlier in the stream, so I'm probably not going to discuss it again. But if you um if you tune into the VOD after the stream's done and go back by about an hour, you'll find an in-depth discussion talking about Lucian and how he'd respond to Hermes Mora's influence. Yes, definitely walking existential dread. One of the things he's fascinated is about how on earth dragons can fly with that wingspan, because it's entirely physically impossible. Uh, their size, weight to wingspan sort of ratio thing is completely not correct. It shouldn't work. And yet it does. So um, obviously magic's involved and he's fascinated to understand how. Oh, I hope the bus is okay, Black Cat, and that you are able to get on it and that it turns up. I hope it's a good bus. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. May your hearts be bright. Next year all our troubles will be out of sight. Now this year we won't be together because the rules don't allow but despite COVID, we'll have to struggle through somehow. Ah, it's a good survival uh, playthrough you've got going there, Yami. Right, let's export these lines, get them into the CK, and then we're laughing. Of all the Etarda who wandered Nern, Trinimac was the strongest. Play again. Of all the Etarda who wandered Nern, Trinimac, Trinimac was, the, was strongest. the strongest. Good! Strongest Avenger! If the fates allow. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red Who came right into white run from Overwick's dead And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade As he told up the battles and the gold he had made We're in the wrong key, really, there But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red When he met the shield maiden, Matilda, who said He, for a very long time, fooled, fooled the old Mary into, into thinking, thinking that tears were the best response to the sundering. I don't know what they're talking about. Does anyone know what the sundering is? What's the sundering? Law buffs, you law people in the crowd. What's the sundering? Someone tell me. Sounds major. Oh, and who's Trinimac? I always forget. Which one's Trinimac? Isn't he to do with the orcs? Didn't he become Malakath? No, that was someone else. I'm not sure. Give me that lore. Trinimac is Malakath. Yes, I'm right. Got it. Thank you. And the Sundering? What was the Sundering? <laughs> they even took the missing god's name in vain, calling, calling his, his narratives, narratives into question. question. You know, you can call my narratives into question. My narratives are extremely questionable. Speaking of my questionable narratives, though, how are you all enjoying listening to Shirley read Lonely Worlds on YouTube? You finding that fun? I'm loving it. I think she does a wonderful job. That's my book, Lonely Worlds, for those of you who don't know. Shirley Curry, Skyrim Grandma, is reading it on YouTube. Which is a privilege. For me, I mean. She's 
is doing a wonderful job of it. So one day, Boethia, Prince of Plots, precocious youth, tricked Trinimac to go into his mouth. La da 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 da. Nuna thinks the sundering is like when the Aldama stopped being gods. Were the Alma, Aldama gods then? See, I don't know any of this stuff. I should really know it because Lucian knows it, but I don't. Because <laughs> I've got other stuff I need to know too. My brain is so full. She is marvellous, isn't she? She talked like Trinimac for a while then and gathered enough people to listen to him. We are, of course, talking about Aldma here rather than Altma. The Aldma being the Altma's ancestors. I believe. Aren't they? <sighs> I'm getting hungry. Mum's making a stew. Very excited for that. Love a good stew. It's very cold here in the UK today. So that'll go down very Boethia nicely. showed them the lies of the Etarda, the Aedra, and told them Trinimac was the biggest liar of all, saying all this with Trinimac's voice. Oh, Trinimac, you're such a prankster. And then Trinimac was like, Bazinga. It was all lies. That's what happened. Trust me. Can you tell I've been watching Big Bang Theory? I'm up to season three and I'm loving it. I've resisted watching it for so long throughout my life. And now, finally, I have been watching it. And it's hilarious. Boethia told the mass before him the triangled truth. He showed them with Mephala. The rules of psychic endeavor. How many letters do you need in... Well, no, I, I just guess it's just a lot of I's next to each other, isn't it? I, J, I with the little dots. The rules of psychic endeavor. They're always endeavoring, those psychics. The sundering is when the chimer... <laughs> left the other Aldma before becoming Aldma. There were the Adra and the Aldma were kind of their offspring-ish, hence Adra, which means our ancestors, but something happened and now they're descendants, not gods. What is Tartletter? Oh, it's all very confusing, isn't it? Elder Scrolls has some very deep, complicated lore. I know, it's probably shocking for some of you that I don't know as much as my character does. I'm sorry, I'm not the expert that Lucian is. I'm a fraud. I'm not as clever as he is. I try. But he is quite a bright chap. Tart letters! They taste great! Sorry, Mazakin, you just inspired me to say that. I don't know whether you have Frosties in the US. That might have gone all right over your heads. Those of you in the US, which is most of you. Obviously not Mazakin, but yes. Don't know. Frosted Flakes, but they still have Tony the, target, Tony the Tiger. What about Golden Nuggets? Do you remember Golden Nuggets? Golden nuggets. They taste yee-haw. Other brands of questionable cereal are available. 
probably. Are golden nuggets still a thing? I haven't seen them for years. They might just be a UK thing. Have we had this conversation before? You remember better than I do then, Ninja. I'm sorry. My brain is so full. <sighs> and export. And we'll just play back this last line, make sure it's everything we expect it to be. Everything we want to be. Nope. Play it. Play it. Play the line. God, Darn. that was all a bit odd. Not really sure what happened. But that's the way with all the best mythology, isn't it? Lovely. Right, we're all good with these bookaroonies. Everything's better if you put an unis on the end. Save. You know, this is a mod Aruni. Welcome to the stream, Aruni. Go to prison for war crime, Aroonies. All sounds better, doesn't it? Arson, Aruni. Alduin, the world eater Rooney. Right, all these books are done. Play a dialogue then. This probably needs doing. Because I don't think we actually recorded this, we just implemented it. Uh, and then the read to me tree needs to have all of these. And I just need to check it does actually have those. It is linked up. Yeah, it's linked up to them. And I think we condition them all properly. So these just need uh, some dialogue recording for them because I think they're blank still. Yes. So we better record these while we're here. Ah, and I took off the pop filter. Joseph, thou fool. Yeah, all the VODs are available here on the Twitch stream, uh, on my Twitch channel, if you want to watch back afterwards, or uh, they last longer. Well, they're, there f they're only there for like a month, a few months on the Twitch channel until they expire, but they last forever on my VOD YouTube channel, Joseph Russell Live. So do sub to that if you want to do that. I'm quite, I've got quite a backlog of ones I haven't yet uploaded, but I'm working on it. You know, I'm working and working through that backlog and getting them all up there. And they are in higher resolution on the YouTube channel as well. And it benefits me, it supports me much more when you watch on YouTube rather than on Twitch. So I do prefer it when you do that. So, uh, yeah, please do. Okay, right. Mazikin did another drawing. Oh, let's have a look then. Oh, Lucian with the PhD dragon. He's a very small dragon. Oh, he's a baby one. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Thank you, Mazikin. That's made me very happy. And he's got his hair in an intelligent little ponytail. Aww. You're so good. How do you knock them out so fast? <sighs> right. Let's record this. Ah, now that sounds fascinating. Purely academically, of course. Ah, let's try it again. Ah, 
Ah, now that sounds fascinating. Purely academically, of course. Yeah, that one seems alright. Let's give that an export. Super duper lights are gonna blind me. Super trooper, not super duper. I don't know why I want super duper. Ah, now that sounds fascinating. Purely academic, of course. Lovely job. Well done, voice actor Joseph. Why, thank you, director Joseph. Uh, 160. Advances. Uh, start. Ah, advances in lock picking. Picking, picking locks. See ya, Black Cat. Have a good work. Right. Look at Tiny Lucian trying to multiply and failing. So let's import that one. Boop, snoot. Pop it over there. Ba 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 Right, we want a tragedy in black. Just wait for this plane to fly over. Yeah, planes are picking up today. Well, you get... Sorry, you get way more planes uh, here at my uh, home than you do at my apartment because uh, it's a different part of the country and we're under a flight path here. So you do get more planes here. But they have been mercifully quiet during lockdown. Ooh, a spooky one. How exciting. Yeah, it was a good take. I'm on fire. Tragedy. Tragedy. When your soul is gone. And the danger is here. It's tragedy. Tragedy. It's hard to tell where you are going and oh, what's that smell? Pretty sure those are the words. Which I always get mixed up with the theme tune to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Do, 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 Have I heard of the podcast Mass Effect Adventum? I'll be honest, I don't really listen to podcasts. Except for David Tennant does a podcast with. I like that one. Um, but apart from that, I don't know. That wasn't how it was Abba with the super duper. Yeah, super trooper. Yeah, that was Abba. I think that makes it much more fun. Uh, breaking Kaiden out of prison. But yeah, David Tennant does a podcast with. I do enjoy. But that's pretty much the only podcast I listen to. Now that... Now that one sounds rather unpleasant. Nope, try again. Now that one sounds rather unpleasant. But then, know your enemy, right? Beep. 
Boethia. Da 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 da. Boethia. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Boethia. Bom bom bom. There we go. Pop that one across into there. Oh, how I wanna be. Okay. Next line. Ow. Are you sure? All right, if you insist. You guys have gone quiet. Everything all right? You still enjoying it? Doesn't really matter. I'm still going to finish doing it anyway, but... Hi, going to make yourself something to eat. I'll be back. I'm Joe. Cool, just checking. I'm delighted to hear it, Armata. I live to entertain. Do your schoolwork. Don't watch this nonsense. Schoolwork's far more important. What's an off glazed candle? What sort of books are you working on, Walking Existential Dread? What are you doing? What are you doing on your books in the CK? Books in the CK. Sounds like a rap. Yo, 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 books in the CK. Okay, maybe it doesn't sound like a rap. Maybe I'm not that good. I don't know. I try. My stream helps keep you sane? That's surprising, but I'm delighted to hear it. Right, this is the last one to do. Oh, that one's a bit unusual, but sure, I'll have a crack at it. I changed the line there because they didn't want to use, because I know we used odd at the end. So I don't want to say the same word twice. And I had a little ellipsis that I did there in the line. And then we want to export that. The Changed ones. You're rewriting Warrior. What are you doing to it? Oh, someone asked earlier on in the uh, in the stream, would I do a Lonely Worlds audiobook? Which, yes, I would love to do at some point. Just time. Need the time to do it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Singular B. Bad luck. I always find, for what it's worth, whenever I do a test, I always find I've usually done better than I think I have. I always come out of tests thinking, oh, I've just failed. That's the worst test I've ever done. And then I get my results afterwards and they're usually not as bad as I think they have been. And I know lots of people who also experience that. So, um, you know, it might not be that bad. How would Daveth feel about purveyor of legitimately acquired articles as a job title? Hello there. It's a pleasure to introduce myself. My name is Daveth Marvin. 
I am a purveyor of legitimately acquired articles, and I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Please, provide me with your articles, and I will acquire them legitimately, for sure, certainly. Thank you. I'm doing my absolute best, Yellow Ego Cat. I can't work any faster. I really am trying. Right. There we go. That's the stack of those done. So we're done with the reading stuff. Woohoo. Finally. Just look back in here in case there's... I know there's stuff that I haven't done in here still, but... Oh no, that's all alright. Good. Is that all alright? Yeah. Now, while I'm thinking about it, there was a new line we added to Dooms Bathar, which was a Dalek spoof. And I regret that decision. I don't think it was a good idea. I think we should put it in a different place. So I'm just going to go there to Lucian Personal 1 and change that while I'm thinking about it because I didn't like it. So Personal 1, it was a it was the combat scene, the boss fight. We did put exterminate in here and i actually think what that does is detract the drama from the boss fight because it's funny and i think a much better place to put that would be as a random greeting for dooms with our after the fight so i'm actually just going to outright delete that line gone we exterminated the exterminate line and we're going to put that in instead under where is it intruders misc hello Uh, down here under I, 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 I. And we're going to go exterminate. I mean, greetings. I'm glad you like the Creation Club patches. I like the Creation Club patches. I'm glad they're a thing. I want them to be a thing. I know not many of you use them, but I make I like them. I think they I, I like the way they add to the Creation Club files, because my biggest gripe with the Creation Club files is always that they don't have voice acting. And I understand why they don't have voice acting. Uh because of the localization issues. But I think adding voice acting them through Lucian, for me, feels like a really big improvement. Uh, so I find that extremely satisfying to do. Hey, Watcher. Yes, I'm back at home now. Back home for Christmas. Driving home for Christmas. So this line we're going to do now real quick. And to do that, we're going to have to open up a different... We're going to have to close Cubase and reopen... A different project, which is Lucian. What's it going to be called? I don't know. Oh no, that's not what I want. Okay, we're going to close Cubase and reopen it because I want to try and find the dooms with our template so I still have the same FX from before. Yeah, none of the Creation Club files have voice acting. Okay. So, this final line, I was trying to open up the Dooms with our template so that we can record this last line and then we're done. So, when did I last record Lucian lines? Probably this one. Let me just play this back. Yeah, this is what we want. This is the Dooms with our track. So I'm going to record on here. Now we're going to want my Dooms with our voice here. Do like... Uh, 
This is going to be a bit louder, so don't panic. You're going to hear a loud noise, briefly, possibly. I don't know how whether the compression will sort it or not, but yeah, okay. Exterminate! I mean, greetings. So now I need to apply my usual uh, transposing. So I transpose this down by five. I specifically instructed you not to panic. There you go. And you'll be able to listen back to this in a sec when I've exported it. Oh, are you talking about the Saturalia CC file? Yeah, if you put Lucian in the Saturalia outfit, he will sing uh, law-friendly versions of Christmas songs to you while you wander around. So do do that. It's good fun. Gosh, no, of course it's not text-to-speech. It's 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 acted. I hope it sounds better than just text-to-speech. I did try and act it. <laughs> and the trick with this, you've got to give it a nice long period afterwards for the echo to die down. What do I think of Cash the Argonian? I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. So I'm afraid I can't comment. But it looks very interesting, I think, if that's the new uh, Argonian follower mod. Right, Lucian, Dooms Bathar, Exterminate. I mean, I'd like to see the text-to-speech that can growl like that. Oh no, this is the wrong folder now. This needs to go in a different folder, one for the uh, the other thing, the other voice type. Ah! Let me sort it out, hang on. It's fine, Nix, I forgive you. That's fine. You just, you just slam my whole acting career. Replace me with a machine. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it. It is fine. Anyway, right, here we are. Here's the line. Put that one down there. Done. So now, there you go, we got the line. We're all sorted. Cool beans. So that's a 1% chance of him saying that. It's very, very rare. You're going to have to spam him a lot for him to say that line, but it's a little Easter egg for you. Ah, <sighs> and we're done. Basically, we've now voiced everything that we've implemented over the last few weeks. The only stuff that remains left for me to work on for the mod is stuff that you guys can't see. Uh, so we're, we're sorted, really. Um, oh, there's also some custom names I need to add in still as well. Need to finish off doing all those that have been requested by you guys on my Patreon. Thank you once again for all your support. Um, but yeah, I still need to sort out some of those custom names, uh, and the secret stuff. And then we're good. So, yes. Still gonna be streaming. I'm back to stream again on Saturday. Um, I'm not quite sure what time that will be, though. It might not be the normal 7 o'clock time, so do check the Discord. For an update on that um yes i'll see what i can do about more death reactions i may not be in this update it depends on time but if there is extra time at the end of a recording session i'll think about doing that um but uh yeah there won't be more um thinky thursday modding workshops now for a couple of weeks because we've got to take a couple of weeks off because christmas um but i will be back so don't worry and i will make sure i update the stream schedule here on twitch so you guys can always see when i'm next going to go online and i'll post on uh facebook as well am i planning eso on monday uh multiplayer monday i think so what what what's the date on monday monday's the 21st i think that should be fine i think what we might actually do is um fall guys on monday because i really want to try the new um fall guys season three update so i think we might do that on monday um maybe a bit of eso as well mix things up um, and then that will be the last stream before Christmas. And then we'll have a bit of a break over the Christmas period and New Year. 
but I'll let you guys know the details of that in Discord. So, no, you don't get Your homework is to go away and produce the best mod that you possibly can and be happy and have a lovely Christmas. Uh, and pick any or all of those. But yes, it's been wonderful streaming as ever. You guys make it so much fun. It's a privilege to have so many of you watching along when I do this nonsense. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. If you haven't followed the channel, please do. Uh, because then you'll get to know when I'm next streaming. You get notified. Um, if you would like to support me, please consider subscribing. I know I don't. I try not to ask about that because I will keep doing this stuff for free forever. But it does go a long way. Um, and you do get various perks in return. So consider that if you're interested. Um, thank you so much for the follow, K. I didn't despair. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all again on Saturday, hopefully. See you around. Bye-bye. Oh, hang on. I said bye-bye before I actually had the thing up ready to click to end. That's awkward. Right, let's try that again. Stay marvellous. See you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>